Hi, I'm Josh from Vacuums R Us in Arvada, Colorado, and today I'm going to show you Recar's Prima Tandem Air Canister Vacuum Cleaner. I love Recar's Prima Canister Vacuum. My favorite thing about it is its versatility. It works great on bare floor, it works great on carpet, it works great for above the floor cleaning. Right now, in my opinion, Recar's Prima Canister Vacuum is the best deep cleaning vacuum on carpet. Go ahead. So while canister vacuums tend to be the most versatile machines, they can also take some getting used to for people who have always used upright vacuums. What I love about the Prima is during the design process, it's obvious that they put a lot of thought into ease of use. So you see that in the very long hose. Uh, this machine has a longer hose than most other canisters I've seen. And what's great about that is that while you're pulling the canister around, the canister stays a ways behind you and doesn't bump into you. Also, the wand is very long. It retracts. So you can clean up high. The canister itself is very lightweight. I would compare it in size and weight to probably a Miele C1 canister. Now the downside to that is that the tools are not stored inside the canister. They're stored on an external clip, which can be somewhat inconvenient. I think that's a worthwhile sacrifice though, because a lighter canister is easier to maneuver. So the biggest complaint I hear about canister vacuums from people who aren't used to them is that they're cumbersome and difficult to steer. Again, Ricard put a lot of thought into this when designing where the wheels are on the machine. They have one independently rotating wheel in the front, and then they have two stationary wheels in the back, which are essentially rollerblade wheels and slide really easily. The hose itself connects stationary, so the machine will follow you very easily anywhere you go. Also super handy, they got a great cord reel. The cord reel is about 28 feet, and it automatically will retract. You don't have to worry about rolling it up yourself. So we use all kinds of dirt here to test vacuum cleaners and to show the effectiveness of vacuums. One of the most important materials we use is just regular old sand. Now we use pink sand because it's easier to see. Sand is one of the most challenging types of dirt substances for a vacuum cleaner to pick up. And it's also one of the most damaging types of dirt to your carpet. Because sand is sharp and abrasive, as you walk on your carpet, any sand that's in your carpet is going to damage the fibers. Today we're going to demonstrate against a Dyson. We use the Dyson because it's a very recognized brand, and frankly, it's the best product that Target has to offer. So you notice as the Dyson goes up to the sand, you can almost see the sand disappear into the carpet. I'm going to go over it a few times. I don't expect any vacuum cleaner to be able to pick this much dirt up in one swipe. After a little while, you see it looks clean. So here I'm going to bring the Prima up first to where I had the Dyson. And as I approach it, you can see from six inches away, you see dirt start to come out of the carpet that the Dyson had actually just ground in and spread out. I get up real close to it. You'll see it will start to pull into the vacuum cleaner before I can get to it. Over here, this is what I expect a vacuum cleaner to do. This is where the Dyson didn't even touch it. I want to see the debris come up out of the carpet and into the vacuum cleaner. So we're going to do essentially the same thing that we did with the sand here with the imitation pet hair. I'm going to run these two side by side, see which one picks up better. Well, it doesn't take a vacuum cleaner scientist to see what just happened. The Recar Tandem Air Prima uses a serpentine belt. The great thing about those belts is they don't break. In addition, they don't stretch, so you don't lose performance over time. In order for this system to work, they include an automatic shutoff. So if you run something over, they'll shut off without breaking that serpentine belt. Like most premium canister vacuums, the Recar Prima has three layers of filtration. The first and most important layer is the high filtration HEPA bag. These will close automatically when you take them out to keep any dust from flying back out at you. They are a disposable cloth HEPA bag. Your next layer of filtration, which makes this a great pet vacuum by the way, is the activated charcoal filter. So this filter 
rests inside of the back compartment. It has true activated charcoal in it, so as the air passes through it, it removes any odors. Additionally, if the bag begins to develop an odor on its own, the filter, because it's inside the bag compartment, is going to absorb that odor while it's sitting in your closet and keep your vacuum from stinking. The final layer is the exhaust filter, which is a high efficiency HEPA filter. Recar includes just about every tool in their arsenal with their Prima vacuum cleaners. Standard, you'll find the crevice tool for edge cleaning, as well as an adapter, which will adapt the vacuum to the standardized one and a quarter inch tool sets if you want to get additional accessories. It also includes a horsehair two-in-one brush. So on the one side, you can use this for dusting. I love horsehair because as it wears, the edges round and it gets softer as opposed to getting sharp like synthetic bristles might. You flip this over and you have an upholstery tool. Also included is Ricard's Turbo Tool. I hate this tool. I don't like this tool. So leave that in the box. They also include this tool. Now this is their forget it tool for pet hair. I love this thing. It's supposed to attach to the vacuum, right? And then you can clean the couch and stuff, but you can even use it as a handheld. It essentially is a lint brush that flips back and forth and self cleans itself into the back of the lint brush and then into the vacuum. This thing rocks. Standard with the Prima is a bare floor tool that has scalloped edges. This thing is great for pet hair. Typical bare floor tools have notches in the front of them to allow dirt to get between the brushes. What's super cool about this is the edges are scalloped making wider openings for the debris and making it so that pet hair doesn't get caught on this as much as other bare floor tools. In addition, it has a removable dusting pad at the back, right? It's washable and it gets the very fine particles that stick to the floor from static. But wait, there's more. There really is. Recar also includes their multi-tool. So this is kind of a three-in-one tool. On it right now, I have the polishing brush. Now, if you step on it, that will detach, and you have a two-in-one tool that can clean either bare floor or throw rugs. I really like this for small throw rugs. The full-size power nozzle is way too powerful for small throw rugs. This is a great tool to get your throw rugs clean. Now, the attachment here comes with two different types of pads. This is a scrubbing pad, right, that you can use a non-soap-based cleaner on your floor and mop and vacuum your floor at the same time. This is useful for smaller surface areas. If you have an entire downstairs that's bare floor, this probably isn't going to be adequate for cleaning that. But for small areas, that's good. The polishing pad I love because you can use a polishing solution on this and polish your floor while you vacuum. Thanks for watching our video on Recar Vacuums. If you have any more questions, you can find a retailer at recar.com or check us out at vacuumsrus.com.